Sometimes you feel like a nerd. Sometimes you don't. I think everybody wants to be a nerd. I think so, too. Yeah. How can we help them? I know. Dr. Tim. He's coming to teach Aroma Chem. Aroma Chem, Dr. Tim? Dr. Tim, Aroma Chem. Oh, I want to be a nerd like Tim. Me, too. I want to be a nerd like Tim. Well, I think that we're in good luck because he'll be here and we'll get to learn from him. I can't wait. But we hope that we can get some friends to come also. That's right. We want an epic dance party. Yep. And we even got a big hotel room with a nice dance floor. <laughs> That's Just true. Just kidding. It's a lecture room, but it'll be set up very nice. And we have plenty of room for everybody. We've got a kitchen in there. Uh, bring your food. Bring your snacks. Lots of food around the area as well for after class partying and eating. And dinners. Dinners, yes. We like to do that. But why do you think people might want to learn aromatherapy chemistry? Well, it's probably the one subject people go, oh, no, no, I never did well in school. I don't know anything about it. And the good thing is you don't have to. You can be a nerd in one weekend with Dr. Tim because you will learn what limonene might mean and you'll be able to say it in words like carvacrol and know what that really means. So you could be a nerd too. You know, I got a question for you. Okay. Do you want some uh, lemon oil in your water? Oh, no, 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 no. No lemon oil for me. No? Do you know what's in lemon oil? Oh, well, I think lemon oil, right? Yeah, well, it is like a 95 or more percent limonene. Do oh. you know what limonene is besides a monoterpene? I didn't is even know that. Ends in E and E. But we also use limonene as driveway degreaser. So yeah. why in the world would I put that in my water? I would like a slice of lemon, please. Oh. I want some nutrients in my water. Not just, uh, you know, driveway degreaser oh, and there's no nutrients no, in essential oils no ma'am no and see if you were a nerd you would know that well i better become a nerd then dr tim will teach you that very thing what else about essential oil chemistry do you think people need to learn well to know? what are what are like what are the essential oil chemicals made up this of? is where i got excited when i first learned and i was one of those no no i don't do chemistry i'm an artist you know no, healer. i don't do numbers and i don't do chemistry but when i realized that we're talking about a small number of elements in the whole universe essential oils are made up of less than five the three most common hydrogen carbon and oxygen makes up I don't know what percent, but a large percent of our essential oils. That's all. That's all, folks. That's all, folks. That's all, folks. A little nitrogen and sulfur now and then, but mostly these three things. That's wow. amazing. That's mind-boggling. So how does that happen? It's really amazing. It is. I want to know it's how magic. it happens. It's magic. No, it's not magic. But it is a, a, a whole nother language, and when one starts thinking on that level and realizing mm -hmm. that these three things, with a few others, in different configurations make up all the smells that we get from the oils, and then those individual limonenes and carbocrols and uh, parasimines all go together to make our essential oil. Isn't that awesome? It's really pretty incredible. It is. It opens up a whole new world, a whole new macrocosm, microcosm, in the macrocosm. The macrocosm, in, in the, the microcosm, microcosm, in the macrocosm. Oh my God, it's so Mind cosmic. Blown. But this is how chemistry can become fun because you realize that and then you start to see if you can understand, oh, I don't have to learn the whole organic chemistry scheme. I'm just going to learn the part that relates to oils. And then once you understand that, you go get a new oil and oh it's 50% limonene or carvacrol or whatever you could go look up the biological activity of limonene or carvacrol and have a better understanding of what that oil might do even though it's a whole all the conglomeration that makes that oil safe and useful it's very useful to know